Hello, I'm Dale Horahan with, here with Lampa Manufacturing and I'm going to go through a series of three short videos that cover the installation of the Vapor Fire 100 furnace. A lot of people think, uh, are a little intimidated, especially homeowners, if they're going to do their own install. And also professionals, they've probably installed hundreds of furnaces, but probably haven't installed a wood furnace. And so they're just a little unsure of the steps it takes. So I'm going to break it into three little steps. The first step is the chimney. The second step will be the ducting. And the final step is the electrical hookup. And that's really all there is to hooking up one of these. It's actually easier than a natural gas or propane furnace. So the first thing we're going to go through is the chimney hookup. Now the one thing that's unique about this is we use relatively low draft. So it's important that we try to maintain no more than one 90 degree bend. You'll notice that I have this uh, set at roughly a 45. These are adjustable if, you, uh, if you're doing your own for the first time. The small end always goes in to the previous one. Draft will keep that all sealed up. We like to have the chimney pipe going at roughly a 45 degree angle. It doesn't have to be 45. I mean, it could be like this and it could be like this. But you basically want it running at an angle uh, because smoke and heat don't like to move horizontal. And horizontal is really bad for wood furnace. One of the worst things you could do would be put a small horizontal right in the furnace here. Don't ever do that. That is really bad. So you want to come out, have your adapter, and then you're going to want to go up to your chimney. Now, granted, your chimney could be over here, it could be over there. In that case, you turn this so that it goes that direction. Um, and then after you have your next pipe on here, you're also going to have we, would, we provide it a barometric damper. And you don't want this right down next to the furnace. You want this closer to the chimney to where you hook to the chimney. If you homeowners, that's called the thimble. You want this as close to that chimney hookup as you can get it. And on this, again, this is included with your uh, furnace. I've got this one set this way. You want to make sure that this flap is horizontal. So this is adjustable. You turn this until it's horizontal. And also it says on here, vertical and horizontal scale. You want to make sure this little weight is on the right hand side. That's the vertical scale and that's the one that you want it on. And this is adjustable. And you'll see little numbers on here. You want to put the little knob, there's a little line. You want the little knob just to the right of that little line. When you first hook up, don't worry about setting this that much. Uh, you professional installers, I know you've probably worried about that. I uh, think it's really critical. We're going to cover this more once we get into the startup and operation of the furnace. So for now, just set it on number four. That'll be close enough. So you'll get this in your pipe, and then from there, you'll go up into your chimney. Again, I say uh, no more than 190. Uh, if you're going to have a, a 45 here, once you have a 45 going into your chimney, yes, you are going to make a 90 in your chimney itself. We're not counting that one. So, but basically, you want to run your pipes at an angle so your uh, hot smoke never uh, is expected to run horizontally. The other thing is you can run single pipe. Uh, this, we don't run a lot of heat up the chimney. Their chimney's probably going to be from about 150 to 300 degrees. Uh, it can spike to 400, but it's going to be lower. If you're running Class A chimney, um, you can run Class A, which is the insulated stainless. Um, and then the other thing I was going to mention is if your chimney happens to be straight up, you can have 190 right here and then go straight up if you're going straight up with a class A chimney. Again, make sure your barometric isn't right next to here. Put it up a little ways. And that's about it uh, as far as the chimney. The other thing is if you're going to have a chimney cap, 
very, very important. You cannot have a screen or a mesh in your chimney cap. It must be pretty much wide open. You can keep a cap to keep the rain and snow out, but no screen or mesh, even if it's open mesh, it's always a no-no with wood furnaces of any kind. Uh, it actually can cause a backdraft, which, as you know, now you could be pushing uh, carbon monoxide back into the home. A properly installed chimney is very, very safe. If you are going to go uh, with a single wall to a Class A, make sure that your Class A extends at least uh, 18 inches to 2 feet below your ceiling or any combustibles. Uh, and then also make sure you're in compliance with your local codes. But that's about it for chimney installations. And the next one we'll cover is your ducting hookup.